Hello everybody, uh, Merry Christmas and uh, it's your host Alan and uh, today I'm going through some more microbiology and uh, today we are going to be talking about bacteria cells and more specifically the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Let's get started shall we? Well, uh, prokaryotes are bacteria and archaea while eukaryotes are fungi, protozoa, algae, and helminth. See, uh, these are the main differences which uh, you should know. Uh, and uh, one thing you should know about eukaryotes is, uh, you know, we humans, we all have eukaryotic cells. So, uh, uh, if you have like uh, a fungi infection, a protozoa infection, algae infection, helminth, it's going to be kind of like hard for you to cure this because uh, these uh, the, the, these organisms have the same kind of cells. I mean, not the same. Not everything is the same, but you know, uh, they have like similar structures of cells as we do. So uh, they are kind of like antibacteria, which is given to uh, uh, to cure this. It's kind of like it might be damaging to uh, human cells. Uh, for pro prokaryotes, which are bacteria and archaea, you know, these ones are way, way, their cell structure is way different from human cells. So, uh, most of this can be easily cured. So, it won't affect the human. Well, uh, as we said, uh, prokaryotes, uh, they lack a nucleus. Uh, which, uh, as you can see, with humans, uh, we our cells have nucleus. Uh, uh, our cells have nucleus and all the organelles and all that. But uh, prokaryotes, uh, they they don't. They they do not have a, a defined nucleus. Uh, their stuff, are, their organelles are just uh, lying in the uh, in the cell. Uh, one thing you have to know. Uh, there are no histones in prokaryotes, but we are uh, eukaryotes, we do have histones. And we are going to go detail into histones in uh, our future video coming up. And uh, another thing you should know is uh, prokaryotes, they have a 70S uh, ribosome. And I'll explain what a 70S ribosome it is in some of my other videos in the future too. But uh, you should just know that uh, they do have a 70S ribosome while uh, eukaryotes have an 80s ribosome. It's a combination of a 30 and a 40 which give all those numbers but we are going to explain that in the future why it, it, it is so. And then uh, prokaryotes they do not have organelles and what do I mean by organelles? Alright here is your cell right here let's say right here is your prokaryotic cell and uh, in there uh, you just have your uh, uh, your genetic material just you know in there, but uh, in the eukaryote we have our nucleus. I mean we have our cell right here, and then we have a nucleus in there, which is always that pinkish looking thing in the middle, and in the nucleus we do have our. Uh, our organ, uh, I mean, a nucleus is like an organelle, uh, and there in the nucleus, we do have our genetic material in there. Uh, we do have it in there and all that stuff, you know. So, here's the difference in the uh, prokaryote, we do not have a nucleus, but in the eukaryote, we do have a nucleus. So, and then the peptidoglycan cell wall. For, for most bacteria. So what do I mean by peptidoglycan? All right. So we have a cell membrane and then we have a cell wall. And what is a cell wall? A cell wall is that a uh, structure that gives a cell, you know, it gives a cell a rigid structure. So a cell membrane is way different from a cell wall. People used to get confused with this like they, they almost like they are almost like the same but they have like different functions. So, the cell wall actually gives the cell a structure, while the cell membrane actually is like a gate, a door that says, hey, let stuff come in and let other stuff out. 
so it's like a door that lets certain people in and certain people out so let's say right this is your cell wall membrane so what it does is uh gives the cell its shape and and remember it's actually a barrier to so let's say you want to administer a medication and uh, it has a thicker cell wall so the medication can get to the to the cell wall and and find it difficult to get into the cell so that's actually really important to know that you know it has a peptidoglycan cell wall and uh, we have a polysaccharide cell wall for eukaryote and uh, the polysaccharide cell wall, as we say, uh, the poly means uh, many, and saccharide, which is a type of sugar. So uh, we have that in the cell wall for uh, for eukaryote. So it's right there. And some of these are really easy to penetrate, and some of them are kind of like harder to penetrate. You should take note of that. And um, one thing you should also know, which is really, 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 I mean, really important, it is uh, eukaryotes. They divide by uh, mitosis. Uh, you might have heard this before. If you're in high school, you know, uh, mitosis, like we humans, uh, we, you know, we all divided by mitosis before we started growing up, before we were even uh, fetus. Uh, in the womb and all that we started dividing by mitosis and uh, the division is actually like um, I don't go detail into this right now but in the future we will you know it is something like uh, which has like S phase, anaphase, telophase and all the phases uh, we are not going to go deep into that but we are just going to like rush the overview but just know that eukaryotes they divide by mitosis and prokaryotes they do divide by binary fission binary fission now uh, what is binary fission? by two uh, fission divide alright so let's see binary fission is something which is roughly like this let's say uh, it's a circular cell right here and let's say all right uh, it wants to divide we have a cell right here remember they are always like uh, two sides of it all right it's ready to divide guess what this one gets copied and it starts to separate um, we are going to go into the detail look into this in the future as I promised now it's going to start replicating and uh, you actually see the same copy is like it's a certain point right here the same copy is copying into this one right here copying slowly and very slowly and slowly and very soon it originate into a new a new cell with identical properties with identical properties everything that was on the cell will be on the cell identical we're going to go deep into that in the future but uh Let's just look at the overview. The most important part of it, you have to know that these do divide, eukaryotes do divide by mitosis, and prokaryotes do divide by binary fission. And they have a uh, 70S ribosome, while eukaryotes have 80S ribosome. Organelles, no organelles, and organelles. So let's uh, skip a little bit more. Uh, just look uh, into bacteria cell. As you can see right here, uh, I'll, I'll skip into the bacteria cell, which you can now see. All right. Here's a bacteria cell. And as you can see, there is no, there is no nucleus in it. No nucleus at all. Everything is just hanging. As you can see, this is a genetic uh, material, which is a plasmid, and it's a double-stranded DNA. Circular in motion, as we said. 
circular. And then uh, we are going to go deep into this in the future. So uh, just keep a close eye. And uh, if you feel that you, the video helped you somehow, um, just hit subscribe. And uh, I'll be posting more videos in the future.